let's talk about Earth's magnetic field a little bit. Let's check out the movement of Earth's magnetic field, specifically the North Pole, over the past 125 years. Here we're looking at the movement of the magnetic pole in the Northern Hemisphere, a negative magnetic pole, so technically what they call a South magnetic pole, but we call it the North Magnetic Pole because it's in the Northern Hemisphere. That's why I call it the Magnetic Pole in the Northern Hemisphere. Negative Pole. We see that it was here in Canada in the early 1900s. And look at that rapid acceleration that started basically in the 90s. Had a lot of people very worried. And Earth's magnetic field has weakened from its most recent maximum value, which was about a thousand years ago. It could be a little bit more than that. In general, we do know that Earth's magnetic field strength has decreased about 10 to 12% since 1850s when we started to record this. And then based on Archeo intensity data, it's decreased a bit more than that. But it was also back at its maximum high not that long ago, it was anomalously strong. It was very, very strong. So Earth's magnetic field right now is actually quite strong in the historic geologic context. It's not abnormally weak which a lot of people are saying it's not. It's actually quite strong, again, in that complete geologic context. But it is slowly weakening and we are seeing the magnetic fields move. But a lot of people look at this and they get very, very worried because of that rapid movement. Now, one thing I want you to know is that this is actually closer to the true North Pole than it has been in a long time because it's offset when it's over here in Canada. It's actually quite close to the, the real North Pole, right, for the axis. A rotation which is right about there or so that actually might be it right there uh, so we see it's actually really close to the magnetic pole and it's not straying considerably from that it was, it was more off before uh, but should we be concerned let us look at this graphic i have here this is from a research paper that came out i believe in 2011 it's actually been out for a while really good research i'll explain it a little bit i don't know why people don't present this i haven't seen anyone else present this for some reason what are we looking at well we are looking at the position of earth's magnetic pole based on different ways of measuring it historically i'll explain that going back to 200 a.d so we have data going back to about 1540 based on variety of models and we, that's all kind of like hidden in there. We see the most recent movement going to 1800 AD like this. And then we see our most recent value there, 2025. I put that in, I updated this graphic myself. So I made sure that was accurate and I put in 2025. They had their last measurement of 2007, an actual observation measurement that was done right there. But this, this, this movement from basically 1990 to now is not outside the norm historically, even just for the past 2000 years. They did a whole bunch of measurements using these different sediments and lakes, and they, they record the remnant magnetization um, and the inclination, the declination, the intensity uh, of the sediments because they're slowly filtering down. And so you get this record of the magnetic field. They did that across a lot of Canada. And also other people have done it all around the world but there are differences depending on where you measure it. So they have a location uh, right there, Lake Murray, which is right, basically as far north as you can go in Canada in the Arctic Circle. And they recorded the, the virtual magnetic pole position based off of those sediments and plotted it. And look at how it's moved. So here's 200 AD and we see the arrows here going like this. And we see that it did this big loop here around down through Canada, then did the very similar journey that we're in right now. Look at how close this is. Very similar journey right there, going from uh, 750 AD, and then it moved up, and that takes it to 850 AD. These are 50-year jumps. So that's 100 years, very similar movement. Then it did this little circle like this, according to these, um, these records that they developed. Again, there's gonna be a little bit of air here, just because it's not an actual absolute recording with a magnetometer for 2000 years, but they're probably fairly accurate. I, the research paper is really good. I'll link in the video description once this is over. We see this go like this, and then we see it go down here and start to move down there. Some really rapid acceleration that took place there. Look at this 50 years right there. Really incredible rapid acceleration 50 years right there. And then we reach this historic position and boom, that's what we show going up. 
So what we are seeing with the movement of the magnetic pole in the Northern Hemisphere is not at all abnormal, even just for the past 2000 years. That's the point that I wanna show you. And so you shouldn't be worried about Earth's magnetic field. Has it weakened? Yes, is it still strong? Based on the historic geologic record, it's still very strong, yes. The, the movement of the poles isn't anything that's outside of normal secular variations. I'll be the first one to tell you, if we start to go into an excursion and this magnetic pole really starts to shift down here or way down into lower latitudes or like the, the magnetic pole in the southern hemisphere also starts to go way up into the mid latitudes and it's clear that we're in an excursion, I will let you know. But we're looking at what is actually happening to the best of our ability and understanding truthfully and this is it. Now some of the confusion just to fill you in is that this rapid acceleration occurred from 1990 up to basically now, it's starting to decelerate. It's only going about 40 kilometers per year, whereas it was going up to 60 at one point in the early 2000s and mid 2000s. They launched a swarm satellite constellation in November 2013 and immediately began collecting data on Earth's magnetic field as it is in space. Keep in mind the magnetic field diminishes as you go further away from the core and further away from the surface of the planet. It decays via inverse square law. So to put that simply, as you increase the distance by two, the attraction diminishes by four, or in other words, the strength goes down by four. And so it actually is quite weak as you move away from the surface and in their first six months of data collection from January of 2014 to June of 2014, they observed Earth's magnetic field and they published some of this initial data. Again, not even one year of data and certain scientific journalistic outlets ran with that. And for example, Live Science published an article July 8th, 2014, which has the title of Earth's magnetic field is weakening 10 times faster now. And unfortunately, the reason why some people ran with this is because it was just a limited data set. And as they collected more data, they realized that they did not in fact observe a 10 times faster weakening of Earth's magnetic field. That would be 120 nanotesla per year approximately, whereas it's actually about 12.5 nanotesla per year at this moment in time. And we know this is 100% the case because we have a widespread network of independent magnetic observatories spread out across the entire world run by a variety of organizations and universities. You can see all this data on intermagnet and examining that data, there was never a sudden 10 times weakening of Earth's magnetic field observed right around 2014. Instead, that corresponded perfectly with the launch of swarm, which is measuring the magnetic field out in space, not the surface. And so they just had to get used to the new measurements that they are working with. They didn't even measure it for an entire year. Of course, you have a lot of variations that can occur across a year. You have diurnal 24 hour variations. You have variations due to geomagnetic storms. You have variations due to the seasons and the tilt of the earth relative to the sun. And so there's nothing to worry about in terms of Earth's magnetic field weakening 10 times faster now. That was really just a case of getting ahead of ourselves and the journalists running with that. And as more data came out from Swarm, they verified that in fact, Earth's magnetic field is not weakening 10 times faster now than it was just before. So that's to give you a little bit more information. I know a lot of you watch this channel are interested in Earth's magnetic field. To learn more about how Earth's magnetic field strength has changed across time, going back even millions of years, then please click the video to the left. And if you wanna watch the entire video playlist on Earth's magnetic field, nearly five hours of video content at this point, then you can click the box to your right. I've been your host, Stefan Burns. Thank you so much and have a great day.